Hey there, my name is Zadeen, my beautiful wife Melinda, and our dog Toddy, who just Toddy. loves uh, being on camera when, you know, when yeah. we're shooting a video. This is the only time she's Such active. Such a ham. Such a ham. She is a ham. <laughs> Hi, Toddy. Uh, welcome to another video. We had a fantastic sales weekend. We want to talk about it with you and share 20 of our, I guess, not maybe our best sales, but definitely our favorite sales. And, spoiler alert, most of our sales were clothing. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are full-time resellers. We make content around it in hopes to, you know, potentially help you guys out, crack a smile, uh, have a good time, you know, make some AdSense money on YouTube, get rich, all that good stuff. Get rich fast <laughs> yeah, you on YouTube. Yeah, so much money on YouTube. Well, I don't think we even need to resell anymore. Uh, so, in this video, we're going to cover some sales. We'll go yeah. back and forth. I think Melinda did uh, 11 and I did nine, which is perfectly fine. And what else are we going to do? We're also going to go over our numbers, total everything that we sold this weekend, um, how many sales, and our gross sales for the weekend. We had only, I think, four or five that were actually not clothing or shoes, so we're super happy about that. We recently switched our business model, if you are new to the channel, mm -hmm. uh, from a hard goods to clothing shoes, and there was some doubters, some doubters that, you know, sh clothing and shoes would be profitable, so we're just going to go over a couple sales and you decide, you can yeah. tell us. You decide. Um, this is actually a top five weekend for us. Our best ever weekend was $2,400 in gross and we came pretty darn close to that and it's uh, the end of January so it's not quarter four or anything like that. So very happy so far with our process and how everything is going. Wanted to cover just one thing real quick uh, about shipping. A uh, few people have asked if for why we're no longer doing free shipping and it's really for a couple of reasons. One, we can offer very competitive shipping with flat rate shipping because it's all the same stuff over and over again, shoes and clothing. Another big reason is that we have our offers on, on this store. So when we used to do offers before, when we first started eBay, it was really hard to kind mm -hmm. of figure everything out because we didn't know how much it was gonna ship for. Mm -hmm. By having them pay a flat rate in shipping, it gives us more wiggle room to work with buyers on uh, pricing and we don't have to think about it as much. We don't have to think like, oh, okay, well, if I take off $5, is that gonna eat into the shipping and am I gonna end up with like $7 in profit? Right. So it just takes that out of the equation. Yeah, uh, especially when you're doing, you know, everything that we ship is either padded flat rate or it's a uh, shoe box or 12 by 12 by eight USPS box mm -hmm. or a simple poly bag for first class. So it's all really, like we know how much the stuff is going to ship for. So it's a lot easier. Mm -hmm. The other thing I wanted to discuss just briefly, um, you know, we have said in the last couple of videos and in this one too, you know, it meets our margins. So we're striving for is minimum of $10 profit, net profit net. per item. Yeah, they're reporting that it's net profit. Yep, after shipping and cost of goods and all that good stuff. Uh, obviously, we want that to be higher and it has mm -hmm. been for many of these mm -hmm. uh, sales, but that's the minimum. Yes, and that's probably throwing like a couple of our long-term viewers through a loop because that's a lot lower than what we used to. But right now, this is a volume game. So mm -hmm. when you're pushing volume, it needs to move. So we can't make $30 net profit on every sale anymore. And that's yeah. just uh, the nature of switching to this model. And yeah. we're totally okay with it. Especially because like Adine said, we're still finding really good stuff where it's usually higher than that. Yeah, for sure. I think, uh, I mean, we can, we can break it down in a different video, not not in this one. It's a lot of work to do all that, you know, math and stuff. Uh, we do log all of our sales in our spreadsheet. The link is below if you want to check that out. Uh, Monda has done a great job staying on top of that. Do you want to just show your routine or, or talk about the routine of how often you update the spreadsheet to stay on top? Yeah, I update it every day. Uh, I mean, that's, that's how, how long does it wow, take you? Wow, that took a minute. Uh, so if you are doing it every day, right now it only takes me like 15 to 20 minutes in the morning. And yeah. I just sort of build it into my routine routine. I try to come down mm -hmm. before Jessica is up, have a cup of coffee, and it's sort of how I wake up and do a slow work thing to get into the groove of the work day. Yeah. So, and I, I really enjoy it. I like to see where we are during the month. I like to see where we're at. Um, a lot of times I'll just kind of like sneak over and put in sales as they come through the day just because I just really enjoy numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun. It's, it's always great to know where you're at, obviously. Mm -hmm. So we know exactly where we're at with January. 
and uh, that's a great thing you know this weekend we did 60 some sales so that's about 20 a day on average you know over three days so obviously that takes a little bit longer if you're doing five six seven sales a day you should only be spending about five minutes or less updating your spreadsheet daily and just stay on top of it and if you're not using our spreadsheet that's perfectly fine make sure you guys are tracking it somehow because the irs isn't messing around and you know they're not i'm not trying to scare you but at the same time, you need to know where your margins are. You need to know what your net taxable income is and what you're being taxed on. Otherwise, you're, uh, you know, you're kind of subject to, um, you know, some stress, I guess is the best way I'll put it. Yeah, and it works in your favor, too. If you have any people in your life who don't believe that you can make a real true income doing this, and they just think you're a freeloader and a bum, you can say, well, Actually, I sold a quarter million last year, or whatever your number is. Right. And yeah it's good it's go. good overall track your stuff uh enough said about that let's jump into the sales uh hopefully you guys find this uh value added leave us a comment below tell us about your favorite sales over the weekend or just say hello in the comments below all right let's go i'm going to go ahead and start us off with five sales from this weekend this first one is a pair of new balance nice bright color i'm including these because they sold just a few hours after we listed them and we took an offer on them and I remember Dean said, we can get more for them, but that's just not our model anymore. With clothing and shoes, if we make the margins that we said we want to make per item, we're going to be taking the offers. So I took the offer and it sold for $30 and they paid $11.75 for shipping on top of that. Our average price for shoes is about 6 to $7. This next one is the opposite of that because Adine wanted to take an offer on these Summit for All Mankind dojos and I said no, but that is because we had a proven history of getting a lot more than the offers that came in. So they took a little longer to sell, but within a month of listing for $69 on Poshmark, they pay shipping on top of that. <laughs> That's why I'm including it. I wanted to do those back to back to just sort of emphasize that on some things, if you really know the value if they're rare, like the dojos, they're really one of the only seven for all mankind women's jeans that still sell for a decent price. So. Hypocrite. <laughs> so there are some things you can hold out for if you are very confident in their value and their rarity and things like that. Hypocrisy. <laughs> These J. Crew jeans, I did take an offer on Posh for $28. Of course, they pay shipping on Posh. They sold within a couple days of listing them. They were in our recent haul video. So we, we picked them up for $7 plus tax at our local thrift. And as you can see, they sold for $28. We picked this piece up when we were in Cincinnati and we listed it maybe a week or two ago and it sold on an offer of $30 and they're paying shipping on top of that. On this Arctic cat, I was very happy. It sold for full price for $30 plus shipping on top of that. It did have some flaws to it in the fact that it had some a fair amount of pilling all over. We called it out, we put it in the description. We also zoomed in on some photos to show the pilling. It was lightly padded in the elbows. I think it's uh, for snowmobile gear, like an under base layer. So very happy with that, made in USA. We paid six bucks for it. First one I'm going to cover are a pair of Nike Vapor Max. I found this in a random garage sale, which I just kind of stumbled upon. And the lady was a shoe collector. What you know, she likes shoes, sneakerhead, whatever you want to call it. And she had a bunch of really nice pairs of shoes. And these took a little while, but that's okay. We ran a 15% off sale on some of our older shoes that we have listed. They sold for $85 with free shipping. Shipping was like 12 bucks. I paid a, somewhere between $12 to $15 uh, for this pair. Look out for these types of you know, specialty Nikes. They have a really great market. I ran into a fantastic Facebook Marketplace deal where someone was selling off a lot of their Adidas collection shoes. And these Adidas leather top 10 came from that bunch. I paid an average of $6.50 per pair. Picked up 24 pair and we've already sold several. A lot of them were Adidas, but they were these kind of like unique and specialty you know, versions. These ones we took an offer on, $37 plus flat shipping of eleven seventy five. dollars They're actually staying here within Michigan, so we made a couple of extra dollars on shipping. I paid up for these Michael Kors uh, duck boots because I knew they were going to sell well, and I did my quick market research where I looked up what the recent comps were for. They were selling anywhere from $40 to $60. Bucks. 
No exception with these. I paid $15 and they sold for $50 plus shipping on top. They sold within two days, which is always a fantastic thing. They were in excellent condition and if a shoe is in excellent condition, doesn't need any cleaning and the demand is there, I'm, I'm happy to pay up for them because I know I'm going to make my margins. A non-shoes or clothing sale, pretty rare this weekend for us, is Magnavox DVD VCR combo unit sold for $97, free shipping. It cost about $15 to ship it out and we paid $10 for it at a estate sale. This is one of the best sales or probably the best sale as far as margin goes. This lot of G.I. Joe or corpse uh, action figure, lot, figure, vehicles, accessories. We got this from a huge toy buyout. These are pretty rare. I did not feel like getting the max value by parting everything out, so I just lotted everything up. I took an offer of $180 plus shipping on top. Super happy to see that go. Some jeans. Can you tell the peoples? Can you tell the peoples what's so awesome? In our last haul video, we said something like, hey, uh, we just sold a pair of these Hudson jeans, now we got this pair of Hudson jeans, well, that pair of Hudson jeans also sold. Men's Hudson jeans, especially the USA made ones, sell really fast for us. These sold for 35 bucks. we paid 7 for them. Another hard good that sold for us, 15% off, this uh, Sony boombox. It cost roughly $14 to ship out and sold for $57. Bucks. We found it at Goodwill for $5. We still have a decent amount of these lighthouses for sale that Monda's aunt gave to us for Jessica's education fund. This was one of them. We do have free shipping on all of these and it usually costs about 10 bucks to ship them out because they pack pretty well in a 12 by 12 by 8 USPS priority mailbox. This one sold for $38.19. Happy to see it out the door. As these bigger hard goods continue to sell, that means more and more space for us to rearrange our storage in our basement. So very excited that these bulkier items are gone. This next one is pretty interesting because when I walked up by it, I saw that there was a dry only tag on them, like someone just got them dry clean, and that usually means that it's some sort of linen or cashmere. The brand I don't think really matters very much here because the sweater is a 100% cashmere sweater, and that's why I picked it up for six bucks. It sold the same day, $28 plus shipping on top. I don't have to say it, we love fast sales of course. If you remember me talking about these Nike joggers, we listed them a few days ago. We declined some lower offers on Poshmark and they sold for full price on eBay for $35 plus shipping on top of that. If you remember, I said that these do not last long for us and they sell well. This is another example of that. A couple day sale for full price, very happy. Ibex is a brand that I have been searching for for over a year. Every time I go to the thrift, I swear I'm looking for it. And Dean found it. I'm kind of bummed it wasn't me, but I'm really happy that we were able to sell it. Somebody messaged us. Uh, they asked if they would, we would accept 55 plus they pay shipping. Happy to do that. Uh, that's what it sold for. On here, it's going to show you the price, and we refunded the difference, so it was a $55 sale plus $8.75 in shipping. Another Ralph Lauren sweater. This was a men's. It has that shawl collar, which sells well. It's a good style to look for. It sold on our original eBay store. We ran a sale on there just to sort of start to kind of clear things out because we're not focusing on it quite as much as building the new store now. It sold for $38.21. We did cover shipping on that one. This is a comforter set. We're gonna include some of the hard goods and non-clothing items that sold for this weekend too, but it was really out of everything that we sold and we'll do numbers at the end, it was only like five or six things that were not clothing. So very pleased with that. This was a Wolverine Marvel 2009 X-Men sheet and comforter set. We picked it up this past summer at a yard sale up north. I think we paid $5 for it and it sold for $50. We covered shipping. Shipping was about 12 bucks. We have a good history of selling Miss Me jeans fairly quickly. This is another example of that. We listed these, they sold within a few days. I will say that the embellished um, bling on the back was a little bit extra than we normally see. So I think that did help it sell. We took an offer of $28 on Poshmark, so they're gonna pay shipping for those. This is one that had been covered in our thrift haul as well. It's that 100% J. Crew. It's 100% J. Crew. <laughs> I'm keeping <Outtakes>. that. <laughs> this is 100% J. Crew. It's not I'm mixed sorry. with Old Navy. 100% real J. Crew. 
This was one that Adine covered in that thrift haul video that we did last week. It is that 100% cashmere J. Crew sweater. And we took an offer on Poshmark for $29. They pay shipping on top. We went to the mall this weekend with our kid because they have like a fun play area. It's just like a place in the winter where she can kind of run off steam. We went into J. Crew. It was like a little bit of market research because we were curious. Those sweaters sell for $118 new, so people are really getting great deals when they buy pre-owned clothing. Our numbers this weekend were one of the best yet, one of the strongest, highest selling weekends to date in our reselling career. You wanna do numbers with me? All right, go on up. I'm going to do numbers with a special guest. <laughs> Hi, Jesse. Okay, here, I can hold this. Oh. Jessie's gonna climb it herself, Mama. Come on, Jessie, get up there. No. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Can you get up there? Oh! Can you do it? Good job, baby. I got three Do you want me to help you now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. Can you say hello to everyone on YouTube? Can you tell us your name? Yes, Mama. <laughs> yes. And Jessica can and Mama. you tell them how old you are? Two. Awesome job. <laughs> and what's on your shirt? Dinosaur. And how does a dinosaur go with the teeth? <laughs> That's right. Good job. All right, Mama. Tell us okay. the numbers. So you're gonna help me do the numbers, okay? Boop, 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 boop. I'll just hold this here. Okay. Go ahead, Mama. So we had 66 total sales. Of those, <laughs> six were non-clothing. So 10%. <laughs> and our clothing sales by themselves were $1,956.47, which was $32.60 per sale. If you add back what we sold in hard goods, our total for the weekend was $2,472.51. Our next be biggest weekend was is like 2400 something, so this might top it. Uh, we didn't go back and look before doing this video, so possibly one of the best weekends yet, and mostly clothes. Obviously, there's plenty of money to be made in shoes and clothing. Our title and our thumbnail is kind of a jokey way of saying, you know, don't listen to everyone. Don't listen to us. Do it yourself. That's what we've always told you guys from the beginning. Follow us as far as, you know, tips and tricks go and, you know, use us for motivation or whatever. Or maybe you think we're a mockery and, you know, it's a good laugh. Whatever. We don't really care about that. We do know that we are confident in our process and we do know that we're going to scale this business. In the near future, we will be doing a video on our total 2021 income just off of reselling and we'll be doing a top five reasons why we switched our business model. Stay tuned for those videos. As always, thank you so much for watching, spending time with us. We appreciate your support and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.